TanaCon, Tanaman Joe's counter event to last weekend's VidCon, became a total disaster after 20,000 hopeful attendees became an unruly mob. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Sheer Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. TanaCon took place at a Marriott in Garden Grove, California, literally down the street from where VidCon was happening at the Anaheim Convention Center. To give you a sense of things, VidCon is like the Comic-Con of YouTube where all the digital stars and their fans come together. But back to TanaCon. It became pretty clear very quickly that they were not ready or prepared to host an event of this magnitude. There's 20,000 people outside and the capacity is like 2,000. Moments before this gathering of YouTube fans turned wild, fans at TanaCon say an angry mob grabbed tickets and rushed the lobby of this Garden Grove Marriott, where Tana Manjo held her own event competing with VidCon. Apparently, 20,000 people showed up for the event after ticket sales were capped at only 5,000. But even if only the people with tickets had shown up, it's questionable if things would have still ran smoothly. At Rainbow Pups SF, who got inside TanaCon, tweeted, For everyone outside, the reason the line is not moving is literally because there is not enough room inside. It's just one hall. She also said there was no food inside and only three vendors. People waiting outside had a tough time as well. That's because it was 84 degrees outside and there was no shade or water provided. According to Marriott, the largest capacity space in the hotel fits about 1,000 people. So it's unclear how TanaCon planned to fit in the 5,000 ticket holders, let alone the 20,000 who showed up. As the event grew more disorganized and security was unable to wrangle the crowd, the fire marshal ultimately shut the whole thing down and everyone was ordered to leave. We will figure this out and follow. Thank you. Bye, uh, just have a I'm getting a refund now. I'm literally gonna f that. No refunds. Tanacon. Tanacon. Eventually, actress Bella Thorne and Tana Monjo came outside to try and meet disappointed fans. Starting at 9 a.m. on Friday morning, at Cacus Middle Name on Twitter began detailing all of the major drama at TanaCon. Among the many complaints, paid attendees were not guaranteed to meet any creators, which was one of the main draws of TanaCon over VidCon. Some of the featured creators had been accused of sexual abuse, and that the entire thing was basically a single hallway with not nearly enough room for everyone coming. After all this unfolded, Tana Manjo took to Twitter with a long thread detailing how it all went so wrong. She wrote, My intentions with TanaCon were incredibly pure, and I truly thought that I had everything on lock. I was told a lot that didn't end up happening. I was truly under the impression that we were selling to capacity and took it as far as speaking with several people very high up at Marriott. She called it a bump in the road that she takes full responsibility for and that she'll be issuing refunds to people out of her own pocket. Now it's worth going back to look at why TanaCon was initiated in the first place. Tana Manjo, known for her story times, had not enjoyed herself at previous VidCons and explained in an 80-minute video in April that she wasn't going to be attending this year because of a series of grievances. Most notably that they refused to consider her a featured creator. I don't care that 500 people were upstairs waiting to listen to you talk at that panel. You're not a featured creator at my event and you need to get the f out. And I'm not gonna lie, immediately my heartbreak <laughs> turns into anger and frustration. Hey Tana, I know how that feels. Been there. It's true. I mean, one year I'm featured, one year I'm moderating, one year I'm invited by a sponsor. I don't know. But I still go and I love VidCon and the Vlog Brothers and now Viacom. Hire me. So since VidCon just leaves people out and does have a lot of politics around it, she decided, screw it, I can do it better. The idea behind TanaCon was to give fans a convention that's cheaper than VidCon with better access to creators. And we totally believe that Tana was genuine in her effort to make TanaCon a legit event. But the amount of ticketed individuals that couldn't get in, who probably drove and flew a ton of miles to get there, shows how hard it is to put together an event like this. Despite TanaCon being readily compared to the even more disastrous Fire Festival, Tana has defended the event, saying that she did pretty much everything she wanted to do inside the hotel's doors. Did pretty much everything that I was supposed to do today, and I just want to let you guys know as well, like, people always make room to speculate and say a bunch of stuff, but I want you to know that today, TanaCon was everything inside that 
I said it was going to be. That explanation isn't probably gonna sit well for the people who paid $65 for VIP tickets for an event they couldn't even get into. Fellow YouTube star and comedian Shane Dawson gave his thoughts about TanaCon, which he was scheduled to attend and how he plans to make it up to fans. Anybody else who came to TanaCon that's from LA, I'm gonna do a free meetup for them and then I'm gonna hopefully do my next book tour. I'm gonna meet up with everybody around the country and then, but that doesn't fix it. Like that doesn't like, doesn't help like does it help i don't know it doesn't take away the fact that they were like literally scammed megan tanjez friend of what's trending and a veteran of vidcon and about a dozen other creator events chimed in on twitter too she wrote let's drop this narrative of teenager only had a month to plan a con and is doing her best it was a month of planning to be shady on vidcon weekends takes any con at least a year with a team to create any of these events. It wasn't gonna go well. Meeting people and inclusivity and direct access, all amazing. But the audiences are just too big and too active to not have structure. Not everyone can meet everyone safely and nine hour meet and greets are beyond exhausting for creators. It would have been more impactful for TanaCon to be well run, safe and thought out than a semi failed f you pop up. I'll give Tana credit. I think it's awesome to be able to see something that might not be working for you and to do it yourself. I'm all about that. But I think it's, once again, as I mentioned, easier to complain about these things than to like just do them yourself. And I think you realize how hard it is when you actually try to create something like this as Tana realized. So in many ways, it was a huge failure for the fans, but I think for her as a public persona and as a star, I guess all press is good press, and that's how she built her brand. So, I mean, I think she's gonna continue moving onwards and upwards from here. And hopefully she learned a lesson and can create a better event and experience from this in the future. So what do you think about all the drama around TanaCon and how should she make it up to her fans? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.